Hello and welcome to this daily tech video. In today's episode, we are going to see how to fix the personal hotspot uh, connection stability issue with iPhone. You know, whenever we are trying to connect it with Mac computer or even with Windows computers, the connection stability is one big annoyance. Like frequently it gets disconnected and sometimes it gets connected and after few minutes or even after a couple of minutes, the internet service suddenly stopped working. But the connection is still maintained. The hotspot will still maintain its connection. Just the internet will not work. That must be really frustrating and even in the scenario like these where we have to work from home or we have to work on the go the connection stability is one big important thing and Apple you know didn't fix this particular problem even with their latest 13.5 update there were no mention about the personal hotspot fix and I hope they understood that it is a very serious problem uh, in the current scenario because for the past three to four versions of the iOS 13 releases we are facing this personal hotspot issue and Apple did know that very well uh, as they have alerted all their Apple service centers that uh, you know after the release of 13.4.1 that many people will be walking into their service center with the issue related to the personal hotspot. So I was trying to figure out a workaround and some simple troubleshooting steps from the uh, you know basics like one by one and one of them actually worked for me. So I was connecting my iPhone's personal hotspot to my uh, from my iMac computer and the connection was not stable. After two minutes it gets disconnected. After five minutes all of a sudden I need to reconnect it again to make it work and after five minutes all of a sudden it gets a disconnector and the very first thing is go to settings and then go to general and scroll to the bottom and if you have any third-party VPN profiles installed try to deactivate it or uh, disable it or delete it you know uh, you can again install it uh, after you know fixing this problem and then proceed with the reset option go to reset and then select network reset network settings which is the third option enter your phone passcode to complete the reset process so after completing this particular step now go back to the system in your computer try to connect the personal hotspot feature so here I'm selecting Robin's iPhone so after connecting you know switching from my Wi-Fi to the iPhone hotspot you will see the iPhone automatically gets the blue color chain you know with the white color chain symbol at the top left corner it shows that the hotspot have been successfully connected and now go to the open network preferences then there you can see the Wi-Fi connected to the personal hotspot of Robin's iPhone and there at the bottom you can select advanced and select DNS and by default these entries will not be there you will be seeing some hidden entries or none will be there in this page you have to click on plus and, and enter 8.8.8.8 this is google dns if you are aware about google dns it's absolutely fine if you're not then give a try with this dns entries i'm using google dns mainly you know for uh, several reasons like i find this one works effectively uh, compared to many other dns services you know apart from google dns we can have Cloudflare DNS or Open DNS. It is absolutely our choice. If you don't want to let Google, you know, sniff all your data, you can always try a different DNS service. So click on Apply. And overall, my internet connection stability has been improved, you know, after using Google DNS. Uh, so that's the reason for consuming uh, many other YouTube and Google related services. It works very well. So after that, you can browse the web and you can watch videos. You will definitely notice a big difference that the connection is a lot stable and right now I'm connected uh, through wireless you know the personal hotspot feature uh, from my iPhone to this particular iMac and everything is working smooth and uh, there is no disconnection issue uh, the pages load faster I don't have to worry about the disconnection problem and let's try performing you know uh, right now I'm connected to the Wi-Fi network let me refresh this page and try to perform the speed test okay this is my mobile service provider Geo and uh, I'm selecting the different ISP as the destination point and uh, you can see the ping rate is 46 milliseconds and this is the download speed it will always fluctuate with mobile uh, you know the cellular data uh, depending on your location and the network availability um, so after doing this you will see the download and upload speed so the iPhone the personal hotspot problem is almost fixed with this workaround and I thought to share it with you guys uh, you know after trying it successfully and making it work through wireless way and uh, the, if you are using Windows computer you need to go to the control panel then network on internet then network sharing center 
change adapter settings option in the left pane and then in the right side you will see this option uh, select that particular wireless adapter the wireless wi-fi adapter or your iphone if you have connected your iphone through cable then you will be seeing your iphone as the usb the network adapter uh, will be displayed there click on that particular right click on that particular icon and select properties and then the properties tab will look like this uh, select internet protocol version don't uncheck it simply select it in the right side on that click on the text and then select properties the properties option you know the tab will look like this and by default obtain dns server address automatically will be selected you need to change it to use the following dns server addresses and set the preferred dns server to the google dns that we have mentioned before or 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 or you can use cloudflare dns or even open dns it is absolutely your choice and your new dns entries changes will be uh, entered and then you can come back to the web and you can try to check for your internet speed or you know you can browse the web uh, without any issues like so far it works for me and i hope and i wish it works for you as well if the same workaround is not working for you do feel free to leave the question in the comment box below i will try to uh, you know suggest some other troubleshooting steps that i could possibly try or you know users uh, who have tried some other techniques and if that did work then do feel free to help others in the comment box below thanks for watching and don't forget to share this video if you find it useful and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more more iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips, app suggestions and reviews. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.